understand it, but what about people who need help that don't know God? Yes. And God said, I need somebody. I know you don't mind preaching to the Gentiles. I know you don't, I mean to the Jews. I know you don't mind helping those who want me. But I need a I need a Paul. I got a whole bunch of Peters. See, I, I don't like talking like this, because when y'all hear this, I can talk like this today, because I know, I know, I know God is turning things around, not in my life. He wasn't waiting on me, he was waiting on the Spirit of Jesus. Yes, amen. amen. So what I'm trying to tell you is, we got a whole lot of them want to get on the radio. Got a whole lot of them want to do Facebook. Got a whole lot of them would love to get in the pulpit. Oh, don't tell them to give them a chance to be on TV. Uh -oh. But what if God say, I need you to go someplace you used to go, and they need to be able to trust you and I trust you, so you need to look like them when you go. Because I need them to see that they don't have to stay here through you. Come on now. That's deep. That's where y'all don't want to go. That's what separates Bishop from other pastors. And I'm not knocking nobody else. I'm not knocking no other pastors. That's not their assignment. That's right. Yes, Lord. Don't tell the truth. Do you know these two right here? Do you know these two right here, their assignment? You need it out of knowing, bro. I hope your mouth is closed. <laughs> but he is a sister. Never seen nobody live through this and be successful. Watch this. Not successful in the. Come on, man. Yeah. That's my baby. She got my DNA. So you kiss her, you just kiss me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You see it? You see it? Oh, huh? no. You see it, Doc? You see it? It's all right as long as I'm doing things that people understand. Yes. But we are a spiritual church today, so I can preach this. Amen. Because you can see my life is bigger than me because I'm living beyond. What my life said I, I should be living. That's right. That's right. This woman needs God too. That's right. Literally needed God. Uh huh. Literally, when she was in in there, she called me a fake pastor because I wouldn't give her what she wanted. You ever seen somebody get mad at you by the way they put themselves? <laughs> So she, she said, you know what? I talked to that man like that after he answered my call. Oh, that's right. How many people I called, whether they did what I wanted them to do or not, if they don't even answer the call, I can't even yes. ask. Mm -hmm. But at least he gave me the chance to what? That's why she here today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Glory. Hallelujah. Growing by leaps and bounds. Amen. Oh my God, yes. 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 Oh my That's Lisa, right. You love me? Yes. We love you, baby Hallelujah. sister. We love you. We love you. We love you. 
loved him. Go, talk about, I ain't gonna make that fake shirt. You can't come right now. We all right? Yes, sir. Those are the assignments that people don't want. We are a church of broken vessels. Yes. yes. We're in the church of millionaires. We're in the church of, of Mercedes and, and BMWs and, and business parked in the driveway. Mm. We are a church of people that don't even understand the last resort. That's right. As I leave you, I want you to know that God said, don't worry about what, don't worry about you being BMW less, Mercedes less, Alexis less. Don't worry if you ain't got a home. Don't worry about having a, being houseless. <laughs> he says, because if you just keep going to church, Amen. and you just keep loving, y'all ever know, anybody went, when we went to um, Kissimmee for our convocation, did y'all know where we were? Such a good time. Where were we? Heaven. She said, heaven, boy, you so good. That is so good. Yeah. In, the natural, in, the, in the natural, yeah. we were at a resort. Yes. God said, your, your last resort will be better than where you are right now. I know yes. that's right. He said, that place that I got for you is going to be a resort, and it's going to be better than where you are right now. Yes. That resort that I have for you is called heaven. You better hear the word of God. Come that on, resort man. that I have for you is called peace. He said, your last place to dwell in is going to be better than where you are. Yes. Amen. Yes. We were at a resort at the convocation. And God Amen. said, heaven is going to be your last resort. Oh, yeah. And if you notice something, she said, that doggone bishop. <laughs> she, said that, she said that. Heaven is going to be your last resort. If you notice something about a resort, it ain't better than where, you're, where you stay, but it always seems to be better. Yes. Amen. And God yes. said, when I, when, you, when I give you the resort, your final resort, there's going to be no semen in it. It is going to be better than where you are right now. Amen. Yes, it will. So don't worry about your resort to state right now. Know that God's got a final resort for you. And it's guaranteed. Yes. But you can get there soon if you drop all your hate with it right now. Right now. Right now. My Lord. Your right last now. resort. God said, I got a resort. Your final resting place is going to be like a, re a resort for eternity. Imagine sliding down that water slide every day. My God, my God, my yes, God. Yes, Lord. Imagine, imagine just hanging around the pool every day. Yes, Lord. Imagine just chilling, just chilling in the peace of God every day. Oh, That's what your last resort is going to be like. Be That's what your last resort, God say, your last resort is not the last thing you consider. He said, your last resort is your final resting place with him. Amen. Your last resort. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Father, I see a church that you have made. I see a church, Lord, that does not blame anymore. I see a church that don't see the faults of men anymore. I see a church, Lord, that, that, that you have made right with yourself. Not a person, not two people, not three people, but a church you name in the spirit of your only begotten son to deliver. So right now, Lord, let us rest and walk in the assurance that because I'm a part of this ministry, whatever I think is a problem is not a problem, but a solution for somebody else. Close your eyes and, 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 and just, be, just begin to just moan. Just moan, don't say no words. Mm. Mm. I, like, I like you got that, that, that toothache that won't go away. I like you got that migraine that, that just, that, that BC won't even help. Yeah, just moan, just moan. Just moan, just moan. I, I don't hear nobody, I don't hear nobody. I need to hear some moaning. I need to hear some moaning. I need to hear some moaning right now. I need to hear some moaning right now. I don't need no words, I don't need no words. I, I need you to get the Holy Spirit a chance to intercede for what it knows you need. I 
need to hear some moaning right now. I need to hear some moaning right now. I need to hear some moaning right now. Yes, 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 
yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, it's moan. Hallelujah. 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 There's nothing too hard for the God that you serve. All things are working together for the good of those that love the Lord. You want to meet him. You've already met him. He said, but now because you met him, you think you could talk to him in a manner that you understand. He said, you got to come to him in a manner that he, in a manner that he's going to give you an understanding beyond your understanding. That's how you got to come to me. Hallelujah. 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 Right now, all things are coming together. Not, not, right now, the pieces were scattered. But the Holy Spirit is putting the pieces together. And you're being made, made whole with every groan. You're being made whole with every moan. Every piece of the puzzle of your life is coming together right now. Every, every piece of the puzzle of your life. There shall be no more anxiety. There shall be no more anger. There shall be no more addictions. There shall be no more strife. There shall be no more jealousy. Because God is putting all the pieces together. And when God puts himself together, all that stuff must be Vanished away. Hallelujah. 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 You may get up. You may get up. You may, you may stop. Hallelujah. You came from Thank you, Lord. heaven Hallelujah. to show the way Thank you, Lord. from the earth to the cross. Hallelujah. My dear. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. The Holy Spirit just broke through for you. The Holy Spirit just broke through for you. Yes, Lord. And I want you to know, you never would have made it. You never would have made it without Him. But I also want you to know, you're going to make it. Because of what the Holy Spirit just did for you. Amen. Because you let the Holy Spirit speak and not you. Don't you know the thing that you see is not the problem, the problem that you have? He wants you focusing on this. So you won't concentrate on what God has for you. Amen. You ain't got no health issues, sister. But he's made the health issues the focal point of your life. So you can't receive what he has for you. Come on, come You're so on, busy Spirit. fighting your health that you come can't on, receive the peace on the other side. Come on, Holy Spirit. You are free after this today. Yes, yes. You're free, my brother. Hallelujah. You're free. And even if it looks like the issue still appear, that's all it is. It's an it's an appearance. It's an appearance. Hallelujah. It's an appearance of. Uh -huh. It's not real. Hallelujah. It's not real. Because the first thing the devil gonna do, he gonna come looking like you feeling worse today. Yeah. But you gonna tell him, you know what? You ain't fooling nobody but yourself, devil. Amen. I'm delivered. I'm whole. Yeah. It's gonna make you. It's gonna make you think that you ain't came out of that. But you say, you know what, devil? I'm on a mission for who? Wherever I. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 It is so beautiful to see people free. And you know, you know what's even more beautiful? Is to see them free and they don't know they're free. Because if you knew how free you were, you'd be standing up, jumping, shouting, taking the Lord right now. If you knew how free you were, you'd be standing up, jumping, shouting, taking the Lord right now.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father.